Want to make your 7 days to die server private for you and your friends or a small group of people you know? I'm Owen from Shockbyte and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your server private by adding a server password or enabling a whitelist. By default, any player can join your server if it isn't password protected. Having a password on your 7 days to die server will require players to know and enter the password before being able to join. To set a password, you'll need to access your server settings. To do this, head to your server's control panel. Make sure to stop your server before changing any of the settings. Then, from the menu on the left, go to Files, Config Files. Then 7 days to die server settings. Find the server password field from the list, it should be close to the top. You'll want to enter your password in between the two quotation marks. Then once you are happy, click save at the bottom of the page. If you are wanting to also add a whitelist to your server, hold off on the next step as we will do this at the very end. If you are not adding a whitelist, then restart your server to apply the changes. And now players will require a password before joining. But be careful as anyone with a password will still be able to join the server. Adding a whitelist will allow you to manually add players who can join your server. When creating a whitelist, you will need to each player's Steam ID64 of who you want to add to the whitelist. Anyone not on the whitelist will not be able to join the server, even if the server also required a password and they entered it correctly. On the server control panel's homepage, head to Files FTP File Access. Log in. Then locate the saves folder. Then edit the server admin.xml file. In the file, locate the section admin tools and then whitelist. For each user you wish to add to the whitelist, add a line with user steam id equals steam id64 but replacing Steam ID64 with either yours or the ID of any player you wish to add. You can also add the name of the player to make it easier to tell which ID belongs to who. Once you're done, your code should look like this. If you want to disable the whitelist, simply remove all of the users from the whitelist section. Click save at the top of the page and then restart your server to apply these changes. And that is it, you can now enable a server password and whitelist on your server to protect it and enjoy your server with your friends. If you found this video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe for more 7 days to die and other game server tutorials such as this one.